Sometimes when you're working with a shape file or, or any kind of file in ArcMap, you need to add a new field to the attribute table. And a field is just a column of data. And so an easy way to do that is to open up the table and choose Add Field. Now, in this particular one, this is a, from your getting to know ArcGIS exercises, we're going to add a new field which is going to contain the acres, the area of each polygon in acres. And the thing that I want to emphasize here is the second part, which is the data type. And every field has a data type. And this just affects how the data are stored in the attribute table and how you can work with them. And sometimes um, this can lead to confusion. And I just want you to know what this is. So you see you've got all these data types here. Short integer, long integer, float, double text date, blob, raster, GUID. I don't know what that is. Um, but each of these have some limitations on what kind of data they can hold. So for example, a short integer can only hold whole numbers, right? Um, text is something you know, can hold really anything, but it, if you enter a number in a text field, it doesn't see it as a number. It just sees it as some text. Dates are special kinds of data fields that obviously can contain a date and um, sometimes they can also include the time but in shape files like the one we're working on right now it can only include the date if you want to include the time you have to put a table into a geo database so it's a long story but you get the idea the trade-off here is that um, some of these use more memory than others and so if you're only going to be working with integers, you could set a data type to a floating or a double. These are data types that hold numbers with decimals, but they also require more memory. And if you know that you're only going to be working with integers, you can just choose one of these integer types and it will use less memory and it will run faster and, and be more efficient. But a lot of the time, if you're going to be working with a number, it's going to be a number with fractional values. And so you need to use float or double. In this particular example, I believe we're going to use float. And so that's what data types are. They're just different kinds of data, and it affects how much memory they use. And so sometimes if you have an error, it's because you're trying to put the wrong kind of data into a particular type of data field. And that's it.